Hello fellow YouTubers, Mac in VR here, and welcome to my channel dedicated to all things gaming in mixed and virtual reality. Today's content is my full review of the stealth action paddle em up from End Dreams, Phantom Covert Ops. This game is an Oculus exclusive and includes cross buy, so if you buy it on Quest, it is also then available for Rift and Rift S on your PC. So let's dive straight in, and remember, we are born to respawn. You play the faceless elite covert operative, Phantom Zero Two. Your mission is to penetrate a supposedly abandoned ex-Soviet military base, which was destroyed in an airstrike in 1966, now conveniently flooded, and try to discover what the fiendish General Zurov is planning. So far so Tom Clancy, eh? The General himself is played with great relish by none other than David Hayter of Metal Gear fame. The time for patience is done. Tonight, comrades, we rewrite history. The best way to describe this game is Splinter Cell, Sam Fisher Goes Paddling Edition. Use stealth to bypass the separatist checkpoints by hiding in reeds, under walkways and bridges, avoid helicopters and gunboats and patrols in inflatable ribs while investigating what's going on, aided by your comrades via radio and a Spetsnat operative sent in to do the dirty on the general. If you're in any doubt about how the developers want you to play the game, you basically get punished in the end level scorecard for being seen or killing randomly. You can pile in all guns blazing, but don't expect to hit those high A's or even S ranks if you do. Play silent, play stealthy, stay hidden and hit those global top 10 scores. And you know me, I like a nice top 10. To traverse this flooded world, you have to paddle your kayak by, um, pretending to paddle. You look a bit silly sat in your chair furiously pretend paddling, but after a few minutes it all becomes very intuitive and fun. Blast down a narrow tunnel, jam your paddle into the water at just the right moment and pull off a beautiful sharp turn. Graphically the game looks good when playing on the Rift or Rift S. Get those settings on high if your PC can handle it, crank the super sampling up to 1.2 using the Oculus Debug tool and it all looks very sharp and colourful. The Quest standalone version is not quite as nice looking with a reduced draw distance and slightly muddier graphics, but considering they've squeezed this whole game into four gigabytes, it is still acceptable. in that chopper. Stay out of sight. You can't stand up to those guns. Plus you won't be disappointed as apart from a reduced graphical fidelity the game is exactly the same as the Rift version with a full feature set and cloud-based saves so your game carries over across platforms. The weapons are suitably stealthy and start with two silenced pistols, my weapon of choice. Two silent sniper rifles. A silenced MP5 and a gloriously over the top AK-47 clone. Gadgets include a camera for highlighting enemies and points of interest. a noise distraction device plus some explosives when you feel the need to go overt and blow shit up yes! Look at those fireworks. there are seven levels and the game took me about ten hours to finish on my first playthrough every time you finish a level you are rated for your stealth time taken, accuracy, etc. Now 
Now, this is where Phantom Covert Ops replayability kicks in, as once you've finished a level, it opens up in the free play so that you can go back and have another go at a different difficulty or change your loadout or even apply a cheat code for invisibility, invulnerability or endless ammo. There are also collectibles scattered throughout each level. Two audio logs and a toy crocodile per level. Plus some high value targets to take down stealthily to boost your point score further. Dead. Cross another off our most wanted list. And again, you know me, I love a nice collectible. There is also a challenge mode with speed trials, shooting ranges and kill everyone in the level. The game costs £23 from the Oculus Store. So the question on your lips is, is it worth your precious time? I think if this game had released in the holiday rush in 2019, it may have been overlooked somewhat, but it has released into a relative drought of decent games in 2020, and that was a clever move on the part of Endreams. I thoroughly enjoyed myself playing this game. There are a lot of ways to approach the various levels, whether covertly, as the developers want you to play, or completely overt, charging in, all guns blazing. Throw in the challenge mode and then free play with its customizable weapon loadouts and various cheats that can be toggled on or off. The game gives you a lot to do once you've finished the campaign. Definitely want to consider adding to your game library if you loved Splinter Cell style stealth based action. What do you think? Have you played the game yet? Were you stealthy or did you just charge in and kill everything in sight? Don't forget to comment down below. That's all for today. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.